Look at me. I'm back again. Oh, I see my like boop, 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 boop. Red, 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 red. Pop, 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 pop. Um, spots. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm back again this morning. Really, I'm not always going to be doing this with like me getting ready, but it just worked out so well the other day that I felt like I got to talk about all the things I wanted to talk about and share with you. And, uh, and I did have a couple questions too. That's what I was like, I'm going to do it again. Cause I had a few people say, what was that that you put on your face? What was that? So I, th I thought, well, let me talk about what I wanted to talk about today, which is, it is eBay and other things, but eBay related mostly about being a, what is it called? Below standard seller. Yeah. And talking about that and how it happened. I can't even say it. Like, yeah, I got there. I got there. And I know exactly why and how. And I have a plan to fix it when I get started up again. So that being said, that's the big, my confession. But yeah, I'm going to talk about how I got there. As surprising as, as it is to me, it could happen to anybody. And it just happens so quick. But, um, but yeah, I had a few questions about some of the stuff I stuck on my face. So I thought, I'm going to do this again. Talk about, talk about my, um, standard, selling standard. Bless you. And, uh, get ready and all that. We're just going to like all in one. Uh, I, I don't want to edit this out. So if I'm saying ums and, oh, 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 I'm sorry. If it annoys you, I'm not sorry that I do it. It just is. Okay. So where to start? I have had, <laughs> look, I can get the words out. I've had my account uh, in substandard ratings for a little bit now. And it's almost like shame. But, you know, honestly, I, I can't feel the shame. I'm trying to, like, it, it could happen to anybody. And it did. And it does. And there's many, many reasons why a person could um, have their account fall into that below standard rating. It could be if you're getting items not as described. If you're getting poor, you know, reviews from buyers. If you are... Oh, there's many ways. Anyway, my way... <laughs> what not to do my way to get below standard seller below what's it called I don't know it doesn't matter exactly the verbiage of it but it basically is like your store sucks and you need to do something about it or we're gonna suspend you you get these emails every now and then that's like if you don't do it it's kind of like they try to scare you um to make you like think they're gonna like pull the plug on your account which they probably would if you continued. But I'm like, my store's been on vacation mode for months now. Seriously, just give me a second to regroup and I can fix this. So um, the way I got to this state or this place was uh, having to cancel orders from not finding them. And I fully attribute this to biting off more than I could chew. So let me get started. I'm going to show just, I'm not going to, this is not like a makeup tutorial, but I did, I promised I would show people what I was doing this time. So, or yeah, this is my sunscreen that I'm using. It's Trader Joe's daily facial sunscreen. There so I go get my cheaters. Oh gosh. So yeah, I got this at Trader Joe's. I've heard it's really good and it's like clear <sighs> anyway. And it goes on almost like a primer. If you, I've only recently started enjoying primers. So anyway, um, over the last couple of years, as many of you know, I kind of changed some of the way I did business and was buying more. We talked a little bit about this in the last video. I was buying a lot more stuff. Um, and just really, I mean, more than I could handle as a solo act. And yeah, I had a little help with, you know, photographing and, but, but like listing, I had some help with shipping, but honestly, it got to the point, you know, where we got 
the storage lockers, because not only were we, thunder, um, selling online, eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, but we were also selling locally uh, furniture and appliances and other big cool stuff to make lots of money. And there was good money in it. However, uh, you know, you can only split yourself into so many pieces and then those pieces aren't getting the attention they need. So while I was <clears throat> as organized as I could possibly be, or hopefully, to my mind, I was as organized as I could possibly be, um, I would still not find things. Like sometimes, because of the process, the way I did it was like I would get a big tub of stuff and then I would photograph that stuff and then because we had moved everything to the storage locker all the inventory was over there the tub of stuff would then get put to the side and then taken to the storage locker and left there until I could go in and put it where it belonged and then that being said like then I would have to go whenever something sold I would have to go to the storage locker get the stuff bring it home blah 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 and then at that point, you know, let's say the person didn't pay for their item or the person can't decided they didn't want to cancel their sale. Um, then I would have to remember to take the item back to the storage locker and put it back where it goes. So what would happen invariably is that things would get lost in the shuffle or um, I had multiple things like if it was a bowl but it was wood and and just the way that I organized things which I think I might be changing uh was like okay well it's not in the wood tote because I had all my totes labeled which worked for me especially when I didn't have that much inventory you know okay it's a bowl okay so not in the bowls it's not in the wood it's not and then it's like oh I had these shelves for items that were like breakable or too big or whatever and so then I'm like well let me check the shelves Right. And then it's like, what, what did it sell? Was it something, you know, so it just became this, you know, ping pong effect. And then also being uh, someone who sold on multiple platforms, sometimes it would sell. And I'm usually really good about taking it down. So I wonder sometimes if it was like multiple, like multiple listings, I don't even know. But so sometimes I would think, you know, okay, I already took this down, but then it would sell again. So having that happen a few times, I need to hustle too. Uh, I'm going to get my, I'm going to the DMV today to get my, my Colorado driver's license stuff done. Okay, this is quick. This is one I got from the dermatologist. This is called Skin Better. This is serum, which I don't even know. I feel like this is magic potions. And this is balancing blah de blah Trio rebalancing moisture treatment. I'm trying to like skin better. So yeah, this is this stuff is kind of pricey. So um, whether I would recommend this one or not is questionable. Um, but wow. <laughs> it make, makes my skin feel smooth. So I go with it. Um, yeah, Trader Joe's one not so pricey. I don't mind recommending things if I if I feel like they really work for me. Uh, and these, I'm not I'm not 100% sold. So, and I dropped this one. Look, and so now that like the pump is like like stuck in, it won't come out right. Oh, it's like me, but it's got like a fancy pump. So now it's like I have to. <laughs> well, that solved that problem maybe. Don't do it. Oh, look, but I can pump it onto the floor, apparently. Question is, will she use the carpet stuff? Look, now I can pump it, though. Because it got stuck where, like, I couldn't even pump it. Okay, I'll fix that. <laughs> we'll see if I can fix that. Um, okay, so, below rated standards. I think, unless you have a really, really, really good system, which I see in so many, well... You see this in so many people's posts, right? And they've got all the totes lined up and all the, and, and then maybe they do. Maybe it's just me being like, but can they find everything? 
uh, because that's kind of how I had it, but my totes were not labeled like by the letter. Maybe I need to go watch some people's videos. <laughs> I never have time. I say that. I never make time. Uh, so, but then again, just like with me, here I am like presenting like, look, I'm selling, I'm doing all these things, blah, 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 you know, and then I have this dirty little secret that I haven't told anybody <laughs> that my account dropped to below rated seller standard. Sorry, clingy, clingy. I got this thing at a garage sale, right? Look at Diddy, so that I can put... I don't like to stand up unless I have somewhere to be. I don't like to stand up and get ready. I don't know why. I just like to like be in it and enjoy myself unless I'm in a rush, which technically I am today. Time to sit. Um, I had a whole thing I was going to read to y'all too that I wrote, but I think that's a topic for another day. I did. I sat down and wrote something. Um, that was on my mind. So, below rated standards, yes, I'm all over the place. Okay, this is the face changer. Someone was like, what's the face changer? This one I do, like, I love it. This is Lancome, and I just switched, because I used to use, mm, what's it called? I, I don't even know, I'm not brand loyal. But this is my foundation that I use. This is a Lancome one. Ultra Wear, Care and Glow. Because I think they have a matte one, too. But because I thought, well, I'm going to already be dry here. I want to glow. <laughs> and I like that it, it's, I think it's a medium coverage if you're into makeup. Because I have a lot of redness and some, like, I get little spots. And so it kind of, like, evens everything out, which I like. Okay. So the big question now is, going forward, how am I going to fix this, right? We all come up against things like this, problems and and whatnot. Oh, and this reminds me too. I'd gotten an, an email from a lady asking me this very question, which is why I was like, I should really talk about this because I'm in the same boat. <laughs> she was like, my account dropped to below standard. And what do I do? Like, how do I fix this? Well, you and me both, lady. Um... What's gonna happen is I am going to be putting my store, obviously, I'm gonna be turning my store back on here in a little bit. And I am going to make sure that the things that I make live, I took um, on the last, look at this redness. Okay, I have a plan for that too. Um, I have a plan for getting out of below standard, right? So when I make my store go live again, I'm gonna put some down here and just see how this works. Cause I do have my DMV thing today. Oh, and mother look, ha <laughs> ha. My mom's always picking on me for wearing this. She's like, Is, you're wearing the same bra again? Cause I have that, I have multiple of like, you find the bra that works for you y'all and you make it work and you like buy multiples of them. So that I had like the, I still have it the, what is it like? It, it's an animal print one. But I liked it so comfortable and I have that and I had it in black as well. But I have multiple, like three of each of them because they were just like a perfect fit. And women, ladies, you know, when you find the, especially when bras, oh my gosh, sorry dudes, if you're like, like this one I've got on, it's like not right. I think that maybe the cup is too small because it's just not right. <sighs> um, So you may see my other one back in rotation. So, and there's Soma. All my bras I get at Soma, by the way, in case that comes up. Um, anyway, where was I? My plan. My plan to get out of the purgatory that is below standard. So, I'm going to limit the amount of things I turn back on. Make sure, like, I'm going to do a full, like, I've literally thousands of pieces of inventory. Um, and I took into account what some of y'all said last in, in the last video was like, I'm just going to gut it. And y'all were like, wait, don't be so hasty. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is really kind of not downsize, downsize, but like mm, do a big inventory 
where I put eyes and hands on every single piece, which is gonna take me a bazillion years maybe, but I'm just gonna like plant myself down there and one toad at a time, right? And as I'm putting hands on things, then it can go live. And, and like, I may even like make an inventory note, like change the way I'm sorting them. I don't know, but maybe not because I kind of like my method. It works for my brain. You know, instead of the, you know, A1, A2, A3. I know that works for some people, but I think, unless I had started that way, it would drive me nuts, honestly. <laughs> I think it would, because it would be like, wait, there's sheets over here and there's sheets over there and there's a plush in there and there's a plush in there. And I get the, the thought process of like, as you're um, processing your inventory, getting it into the, you know, like saving a step of sorting things. But like my brain is like, I need to like things together. Yeah. Anyway, so that being said, <clears throat> oh, this is, this is also Lancome. Uh -huh. I, don't even know. I don't even know what it's called though. I can't read that. Please don't make me. Uh, it's just something to cover the things. Anyway, so <clears throat> that's going to be the first step. Second step is I'm going to evaluate some of my prices because I know I, my typical thing is I, like I price high and do best offer. This is where things get tricky. Do I show you that I get little hairs? Um, because they drive me nuts. I do. Get these little hairs, especially as you get older, you get more. And you get them in the same spot. So I have here, I have like two here. And then I have one that always grows right there. Anyway, I feel like I should play some like fancy music while you don't have to, so you don't have to see this. I got him. <laughs> I got him. Um, I felt like Gilly. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So, oh, I'm wondering about getting like lasered. Laser him. Laser him out of there. Pew, pew. Um, I'm all for it. I'm like Dolly. You know, what did she say? If it's something that can get, wait, if something needs to get nipped, tucked, or sucked, I'm gonna, I can't remember how she put it. I have a good attitude, and if I see, as I said, something sagging, dragging, bagging, I get it nip, tucked, and sucked. Dolly, love her. This is it. Look at the mess I made of this one. Bye-bye, under eye. Bye-bye, under eye. She's got a great story. The The lady who came up, who did the It Cosmetics, she was on the Mel Robbins podcast not long ago. Um, Okay. That's what I do. My bye bye under eye. This is my eye stuff. Okay. Anyway, where was I? So yeah, I'm going to start turning on my listings as I put hands on them. I'm going to readjust my prices to lower them because the way that I'm going to fix this is I need to prove that I'm going to fulfill my, <laughs> my listings when they get sold. And so that's just pretty much the only way it's going to happen is I've got to make sales to get that turned around. So I have to start, well, I have to get my things turned, my listings on, first of all, and then, yeah, fulfill things within the said time. And I used to do next day, you know, if it sold, it would ship the next day. But because we got the storage locker it just was not feasible because it was, I mean, we were over there almost every day, but it wasn't feasible realistically for me to get over there and make sure I got this and blah, blah, blah. I'm back at the house. And so I switched it to two or three days. I think there were times when I stretched it out to further, um, especially after I started having that issue where I wasn't finding stuff. I really, then I really switched it over. This is a new one for me. I just opened this. This is a Sephora one. Sephora, it's just kind of like, it might be too light though, we'll see. Um, what was I gonna say? Ah, what have I done? Yeah, so I'm going to lower some prices. I'll probably run a sale, a pretty sizable sale, because at this point, my goal will be, nope, that's not gonna work. 
my eyes in my age have gotten gotten the better of me. Um, yeah, the goal is going to be to try to get my my standard turned around because I've been you know top rated for like ever, and so for me to get to below standard is like not what. But again, taking full responsibility. That looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Uh, so that's the plan. If you have any other tips, like say you've been in this place before, this is like exactly the same, isn't it? Maybe, it's a little better. It's just, I, I yeah, anyway. Is it? I got some in my eye. There we go. Um, if you have any other tips for me, I would love to hear them. <sighs> I might be going back. Sephora is pretty good about taking stuff back, even if it's open, which is why I like Sephora a lot. If it's not working out for you, because the lights there are always, mm, you can't really tell. Now I'm going back to my Mac. This is Mac. I want to have some kind of eyes for my, my last, oh my gosh, my last driver's license photo is horrible, horrible. It was when I had like the bob, when it was like sitting right there. And so the, and now I'm like, that was a really bad, that was a really bad cut for me. The bob that fell there, I think the longer hair, it either has to be long or short. This was the Mac that I got. What is that? Oh, thank you for making a big Mac. Only it's not big enough. I'll just show it to you. Ta-da! That's that color. And then I have this one, which looks like bazow, bow, bow. Right? But I, I tone it down. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my <laughs> my last um, driver's license photo was horrible. So I'm like. New state, new me. Not really new me, but new state, new photo. Thank God. Hopefully. Watch them be like, we can just transfer. Like, Don't you dare. And crawl across this counter and have words. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably laws against threatening DMV employees. There's probably laws. Well, there's laws about threatening everybody, Margaret. Uh, okay, so... If you are or have been in the same boat as me, then definitely let me know. Look, I'm, I, I'm not a, a makeup person, so it's just kind of messy. I put it on messy and then I go back and like <laughs> very technically smooth it out and like wipe it down. And like, I don't, I have other things I could use, blendy things and, but no, I just do it my way. I need a towel or a tissue or something. There, that's what I do. Until it looks like I want it to look. Very sophisticated. But now I feel like there's like redness here. That's gonna have to go. But I'm gonna have to go wash my fingers first. Okay, finishing up here with the makeup. <laughs> but the redness I was telling you about, I do have a plan for the redness. There's this thing, and you guys, I have come to the realization that I don't care. <laughs> I don't care and I'm gonna do it. There's this thing my sister was telling me about, and I looked it up, it sounds fantastic, and it's BBL, which is not, I'm not talking about the Brazilian butt lift, because girl, you know I don't need that. Um, anyway. The BBL, like, it's a laser-like thing you can get done at your dermatologist's office if they offer it. Some of them offer different lasers. Lasers. My, my dad had it done years ago, but it wasn't BBL. It was something else. But it was, like, where they, it attack, like, it goes after all the skin spots and stuff. And it, you look horrible for a little bit. And then, like, your skin spots are, like, good. Um... <clears throat> but it, it will do like the redness and like the spots. And this is because I don't 
Ooh, forever. Like I was bad about not wearing uh, sunscreen. So here you have to, you can feel the sun trying to like climb into your, and anyway, <laughs> the sun is like, I'm coming in. I have an appointment to get my car windows tinted as well, which is, you would think in Texas you're, I mean, they're tinted, but they're not tinted enough. Cause then I find myself in the car like doing this cause the sun is coming in on me and I'm like, it's trying to get me. It's like crispying me up. This is my benefit, dandelion blush, which I love. And a lot of times if I'm in a rush, I just throw it on my eyes too. I don't, you know, if I don't want to go to the whole extreme of makeup, then I use this boop, like that on my eyes as well, which I might give it a little today, just a little oomph. But yeah, I, um, I called, so I've already made my screening for my dermatologist for the year. My new doctor here gave me my referral. And I talked to them because they do some, it's technically considered a cosmetic thing, but I talked to them about, you know, getting a consultation for that, but they won't, they don't like you to do it until fall or winter because of sun exposure. You're not supposed to get in the sun for that. Okay. We still need eyebrows. We still need eyebrows and mascara. Okay. So this is what I used to use brow pop, but I don't, who makes that? I don't even know. What does it say? Kosas? I don't even, anyway. Um, but I just keep it for the little brush. I don't even have that side. And then I have this precisely my way brow pencil made by Benefit. Benefit's a good brand. And then if and when I wear mascara, Stila, Stila that's one that I like. Cause I like the liquidy pen ones, I like that. But I make a mess of it sometimes. And then this is also Benefit, I think. They're real. This is, they're real, magnetic. It says magnetic. And I was like, but I don't want to put magnets in my eyes. She was like, it's not really magnetic, Marga. It's just like magnetic. <laughs> Do y'all watch The Righteous Gemstones? <laughs> There's a new season. I've been watching it. Oh my gosh. Judy Gemstone. She thinks she's <laughs> so hot. Hot to trot, ladies. I don't got time for kids because I'm trying to keep this fresh physique fine. <laughs> it's just it's so funny. Um, what's it on? It's on. What channel is it on? Is it on HBO Max? I think it's on HBO Max. <laughs> Freaking gemstones. Uh, it's really funny if you haven't. It's uh, It's got John Goodman and I can't remember the other guy's name. But they're like this, like a big, you know, like one of those big mega churches. It's like a, it's almost like a, yeah, almost like, it's like a spoof of behind the scenes of one of these mega churches. And the father started, the father and the, the mom who's passed away had started in meager, you know, little church and built up this huge mega church. But then their kids are like total, oh my gosh. It's really, really funny, some of the scenarios that go on. I think this is the third season. I'm loving it. Uh, I need a good laugh. So, where was I? We talked about the below-rated standards, and y'all are going to give me your, your tips if you've been there, and your shame. You can try to shame me, but you know what I'll say. Shame, shame. I know your name. Uh, oh, and I was talking about the BBL. I think it might be pricey, but I think it might be worth it. For my, um, I know some people are like, I quit caring, and that's fine. I, I did too for a long time. But now I'm like, no, I want to, I want to look, it's fine. You do you, I do me, and we all love each other anyway. So there. Like, like uh, the quote from Dolly. She's like, if it makes her feel better and it makes her feel good. And she's like still, that's the thing too. The heart, the soul, the presence. Like, 
since I, and, and that's the thing, like since getting my tattoos, the, I, I promise it's just like the judgment I've gotten, like in the eyes, you know what I mean? Like somebody will meet my eyes, they'll smile. They'll seem like, like, Oh, she seems like very friendly. I'm smiling. And then they glance down. I remember specifically happened at the pharmacy. It's happened at a couple of garage sales too. You know, the pharmacist or the girl checking me out, you know, the lady, um, met my eyes, smiled, warm smile, glanced down, saw my arms, smile dropped. And I was just like, so like, what? I'm still like here, here, you know, love you. Um, so, okay. First I flew for them. Floof, floof, floof. And I still have some color in my brows, but it's starting to get kind of spotty. And I probably have some that need to be plucked. And then I take this little duty and I, and then I just kind of color them in the way I want them. Just to fill in. See, there's like little gaps in the color. So basically I'm just, you know, helping the little brows out. They're like, we're trying to push out the, the hairs, but some of them are turning white. <laughs> They're there. You just can't see them. There. Ta -da. My lashes too. I didn't like, I, I didn't wear very much makeup, you know, high school, early college days. Cause like I had like really long lashes. I'm like, this is so annoying. My lashes are like bumping up against my glasses. Right? And that, that doesn't happen so much anymore where my lashes would bump into my sunglasses because they were so long. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Anyway. So, what was I saying again? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I was talking about the gemstones. Oh, the tattoo thing and the judgment. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it, you've just got to feel a person's presence, you know, and see, like, you know how you can get a feeling for somebody pretty quickly? I, I'm trying to get better at this. Um, and I think, too, just being open. Okay, here's the thing. <sighs> Not having, I think that's what gets me into trouble or has in the past with my love life, especially, or that, that when you're desire for something not even just love life but like when you're wanting something so bad like a friend like wanting community or wanting friendship and that you're willing to let the little red flags or the little whispers the little things in in the back of your mind that are giving you like warning signs um that something's off you know, that either you just blow past them, you ignore them, you just don't even pay attention. I mean, it's happened with many relationships, not just romantic, but uh, friendship-wise, where I know better. But it's like you want that so much that it's something that you overlook. You know, there's enough good... There's enough for what, what what fits that you're willing to kind of overlook some of the other stuff. Um, and so I think going into, that's why when I met some people at the eBay thing that Liz, um, Colorado Reworn, look at me go, <laughs> remembering your name now, um, introduced me and had me come and it's like you meet people and it's in it's in the eyes it's in the smile it's in without sounding too fruity like I, I i i don't even pretend to be able to read auras or anything like that but you just feel their energy right and liz was just such a warm open person and just so free to talk to people and just like it was just really refreshing and then a rural squirrel oh gosh and I put her name up on the last one too I went and double checked it and I'm like oh gosh and now I've done it again see look at me I 
I need to like, but same deal. Like she was so warm and friendly and open and you could just feel like you could just, you know, you just relax. You see how I just took a deep breath. You're like, when you're in the presence of somebody that you feel like, okay, it's going to be okay with this person. I can, I can relax here. Um, that that was a nice feeling and I can't even remember, but I remember rural squirrel and I put her name up and I remember cause I had to go back and double check that I spelt it right even. Cause I was like, no, no, there's multiple spellings for her name. <sighs> okay. So this is new for me. This is my, for my hairs. Now we're ready for hairs. I am going to put on my star earrings for my photo. This is Olaplex number six. I got like a little sample kit because I love Sephora. Guilty pleasures, right? And there was like a sample thing because I wanted to get their um, hair conditioning stuff that you put in before. It's like a once a week deal. And I, and I got it and I loved it. And I actually even, because the sample kit had their shampoo, um, conditioner, had this little bonding oil. This goes in after because my hair's been so dry. I need to get a trim bad. Um, and then some other stuff. So if I went back to get this bond smoother because I usually use like this. It's not a wax, but it's like a to keep all the little flyaways down. So I haven't used this yet. Is it risky to use it on the day that I'm going to get my DMV? Well, I'm just going to use a little bit because I, I did my hair treatment last night where I conditioned and all that. I washed it. <laughs> my hair treatment is so fancy. I washed it. Look at there, Dan. Hi, Danny Pants. You're my Danny. You sweet kitty. You are. I just put stuff on my hands. He's like, okay, never mind. So I'm, I feel like something about Mary. <laughs> is that hair gel? Um, oh, it feels not like what I wanted. I hope I was supposed to put this on dry hair. I guess I should have read the directions first. There goes Danny. Dan, what do you think? This is his spot. He likes to be right on the... You getting in your spot, honey? He likes to sleep on the bed and at the foot of the bed. Yep, there he goes. Uh, he used to sometimes come curl up next to me, but he hasn't done that as much at the new house. But he definitely still has his spot on the bed. Okay, what do I think about this? It's not what I anticipated. I got another kitty. Haha, <laughs> I caught you. This is Bobby. Mwah, Bubs. <laughs> He's like, dang it, woman. He still has a kitten attitude. See, I need to trim bad. Okay, well, maybe it's gonna. Did it? No, it didn't. Maybe I need more back there. Because, like, my little jelly stuff. I'm trying to get you to see. My hair is very thin and very fine, and it breaks super easy. And I know I get lots of advice, but like it just, you see, it's just like always very thin and very fine. And it's thinner, thinning. Thinning? Anyway, I'll get a weave if I get bald. I will get fake hairs. Vanity, but that's okay. If it makes me feel good, I don't even care. Well, maybe it worked. We'll see. Okay, lips. Hi. I'm finishing up here. How are you? What time is it? Am I late? I don't know right now. It's 8.30. Okay, I gotta go. Love you. Did you have a question or are you good? Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, we had a lot of problems, not problems. We had a lot of screen time during the move and stuff. And I've been trying to like scale that back big time. So they were asking if I 
he was asking, I should say. Um, when I go to get my DMV thing done, can they play video games? We've been trying, I used to be really, I don't wanna say strict, but we just had a schedule. And they basically only had about an hour a day because we would have, our afternoon schedule was like lunch. After lunch, we have quiet time and silent reading. And that was less, lasted about an hour. Quiet time is just like no input. You're, everybody's in their own space. Doing something without a screen, without audio, just quiet and you can mess around. You know, you, everybody needs that like decompression time. And then silent reading time was about 25, 30 minutes where they could go, you know, do the, read their book. Everybody's, again, so they also gave me like a good hour. <laughs> Cause single mom, you know, a good hour. Cause I, everybody needs that decompression time. And then it was afternoon chores after that. And then they could do their video game time, which was about, we called it 25 and 25. If they wanted to play together, 25 minutes of one person's game, 25 minutes of the other person's game, five minute window of, you know, they're not going to stop after 25 minutes. So basically that five minute cushion. And then it was bit, by then it was like, okay, now it's time to start prepping for dinner, blah, blah, blah. Um, so our afternoon like schedule was pretty well set. And that would also give me time to work. Okay. I don't know what that dance was. That was like a mini Margaret dance party. Seeing how the hair flows. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to the DMV. I made an appointment. Uh oh, look, see, we need BBL. And I know like some people are like, eh, you know, natural beauties. <sighs> y'all, y'all have seen me without all this stuff. Well, Anyway, we'll just leave it there. Um, I need to go brush my teeth and put on some lips and my earrings and I'm good to go. Maybe some deodorant. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So let me know your thoughts about below rated standards and any other things that you have. And then I think the kid's dad's coming this weekend. He's coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna be diving into my office. So I'll be sharing that with you. And yeah, I've enjoyed. <laughs>